Okay, I give you my own example. My example. When I was a little, one day we had guests in the home. And my grandfather, may Allah give him Jannah, he was there with us. And he was looking at me. He was, he was, he couldn't hear properly, you know. At that age, he was about 86, 87. And uh, he came into the lounge when the meal was already done. And now there was dessert and ice cream. So it was my favorite ice cream. And I was there serving the guests. So I asked the guests, would you like some? They said, no. Would you like some? No. Would you like some? No. You know what we say in my culture? More for me. Mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Anyway, I was a little boy. So I took my bowl and I decided to take ice cream. Now, you know when you're young, what happens? You take a big scoop and you look at it and you say, mm -mm, this is my favorite. Take another scoop, put it. And my grandfather just watching. I promise you, it wasn't so bad. But I ate it and these people had some tea or something else. When they went, when they went, my grandfather called my mother and he said, you see this son of yours, you have not taught him manners. I'm sure you people have had this happening, right? You have not taught him manners. She says, what happened? He took all the ice cream himself and the guests he didn't even give them. <laughs> so my mother's looking at me, whose story should she believe, mine or his? And she decided, you know what? The grandfather has already tackled it because he told me, you, you are so greedy. You have eaten ice cream. You are the big ice cream eater. You have what, what? And he kept on going. Now, you know, at his age, he forgets the next day that he told you, but he remembers what you did. So he starts all over again. <laughs> and wallahi, I promise you, he did it for a whole year. <laughs> Every time he sees me, I was the bad boy, ice cream boy. So much so that up to this day, I feel ashamed when I'm eating ice cream. Subhanallah. <laughs> I just look at it, I take a little bit, I say, Jazakallah khair, thank you so much. You know? The point is, you know, a small ice cream thing, you don't for one whole year, may Allah give him Jannah, he did it out of love. Trust me, I have no ill feeling. I love him so much. May Allah give him Jannah. He was a great man. He used to read one Quran every few days. He was such a pious person. But because of his forgetfulness, whatever the reason was, the point I want to raise is you cannot go on and on and on for something that your child did that was already gone and over. You don't keep reminding them, you know, you, you did this, you did that, you are a bad child. No, we are living in an era where you have to tell the child what good the child did. You embrace your child, you kiss your child. I want to ask those who are older than 60 years old here. To answer you the question within yourself, maybe even beyond 50, you answer the question inside. How many of you have kissed your sons and daughters? Question. I don't want the answer aloud, but I just want you to think about it. If you have good news, you fulfill the sunnah. 